welcome back. I am super excited today because I finally got Puff to eat. Yay! So what that means is I'm gonna talk you guys through what happened. I took him to the vet. I got some x-rays. He got some dewormer. Um, I'll let you know what the vet said and I'll show you guys um, his first time eating in five months. So Puff is my banana ball python. He is about two years old. He went on a feeding strike and with all my efforts of trying to feed him once every eight to 14 days, it got kind of expensive just knowing he wasn't gonna eat it. You look in his tank and he's just hanging out. He's not really moving anywhere. He's not really looking for food. He just seems content. I probably spent a good like $70 just on individual rats. I would give him the rat. He would not take it. He would hide from it sometimes and sometimes he would smell it but he would just not want it at all. We got some x-rays. Everything looked fine. He did not look malnourished. I know this sounds crazy to some people that might not have reptiles or animals or snakes or whatever, you know, people who don't have animals. It sounds weird. An animal hasn't eaten in months. Ball pythons have been known to go a year without eating and there's different causes for it. I mean, their humidity, their temperature, their environment, like as far as like, like outside. His tank is right there. So if there's a bunch of noises going on in the house, he's gonna feel kind of uncomfortable and skittish and whatnot. But I've been like really trying to do everything I can to get him comfortable enough to eat because I was getting worried even though he looked perfect. I was getting a little worried because it had been so long since he had eaten, but since ball pythons do have a reputation of going on feeding strikes and being picky, it is a very basic snake. It is a beginner snake. At the same time, he hasn't eaten in five months, so for a beginner, that is frustrating. So with ball pythons, it's a little easier to tell um, if they're starting to get a little malnourished just simply because of their shape. Ball pythons are thick animals. Um, when you feed them, you feed them the size of their stomach, maybe a tiny bit, tiny bit bigger, but enough to fill them up. They're always thick. They're never thin. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that it's going to be a huge hit or miss every time I try to feed him, I would mainly just keep my eye on him and his body and make sure that he wasn't losing any fat because once he starts losing that fat, it can be an internal issue. It can be something that's going on within him. So for that reason, I took him to the vet. We got some x-rays and they're amazing. I will put it right here. So I wasn't able to go into the vet with him because of the coronavirus. I had to do the curbside um, drop off. So they came and picked him up, took him back, did his x-rays, gave him a, a dewormer and brought him back to me. And the vet said that he looked great. He looked completely healthy. He looked fine. Um, he just pretty much went over things that I already kind of knew. He's like, make sure that, you know, your heat is right, your humidity is right, you know, make sure that your husbandry care is correct, you know, all this stuff. And in the past, I would say six months, I've really, really been giving my all to Puff. Like, I've been really dedicated to making him comfortable. There was, sadly, a point when he stopped eating the first time, which was, like, a year and a half ago, he didn't eat for like two months or something. And I had no idea what to do because I just kept buying rats and kept buying rats and he wouldn't eat them, he wouldn't take them. So I was kind of stuck. I was kind of like, I can keep trying to help this, this snake, but at the same time, someone else could be helping him more, someone more experienced, you know? But I'm the type of person that believes that if you get an animal, it's for the long run. And I, I couldn't, see myself getting an animal and then not being able or not knowing enough to not 
care for them correctly. But let me tell you something. If you care about something enough, you will learn. You will do research. You will do everything you have to do. When I took him to the vet, I spent $120 there just for them to tell me basically what I already knew. The next week he ate, so it was a waste of money, but I don't regret that at all. Like I never regret taking my animals to the vet. There's never a moment where I'm like, dang, I could have saved that money. No, I'd rather my, my animals are safe and sound and healthy rather than me be worried about my finances. That makes sense. Last night, I made sure that he had his mouse nice and toasty. I made sure that thing was so warm all the way through. I was like, you know what, he's out and about. He looks active. I'm gonna try tonight and I'm hoping it's gonna be the night. And luckily it was, I got it on video too. It is a little blurry, so I'm sorry. The terrarium windows are kind of dirty because it gets humid in there. When I spray in there, it gets all over the window and then it dries like that, so it, it's just messy and stuff. But yeah, I got what I could and I hope that's enough. And my last video about the misting system, I got some comments regarding, you know, if it's good or not, if it's bad or not. I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to get rid of the misting system. It just, it's making things harder, honestly. When it blows the mist out, it blows it. So there's like a wind. So with the wind, it takes my temperature down and it takes so long for the humidity to come back up. It was just very frustrating. But yeah, so I'm thinking I'm gonna sell it. If anyone wants it, I will ship it to you. Um, I don't know how much I got it for. I will check and I will give you a deal. I'll knock like $10 off or something because I used it once until it ran out and then I just stopped using it. I don't think that's the way to go. I think that spraying them is easier and more effective. I guess I'll show you a video of Puff eating for the first time in five months. And I hope you guys enjoy watching him eat because I was pretty excited, so yeah.
thank you so much for joining me. Um, that was pretty much just a big old update on Puff. And let me know what you guys would like to see. More Puff stuff. I can't show him to you right now because he just ate last night. And I don't want to mess with him. So, well, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. My hair might be longer. Who knows? Bye.